any final words that you would like to say to wrap this up, get this going? Oh. Yeah, I, uh, um, normally I make it, uh, pretty short and sweet with, uh, with my coworkers. Um, but on uh, May the 11th, this world lost a true hero. Oh, I'll try not to break up. His name was Jimmy and he was not only a coworker, he was a good friend of mine. And, uh, it is a, it's a day I will never forget. I can go on and on about how awesome this guy was, but I'll tell, I'll, I'll tell one story and I'll try and make it quick. Um, just so people know Jimmy for who Jimmy was and he wasn't just a news article. Um, me and my son worked on my Mustang that I used to have in high school. Um, it's been brought up in episodes past and long story short, me and Jimmy loved cars and, uh, he'd come in every day and we'd talk cars and he had a seven month old son and he would always ask, you know, what me and my son were doing on, uh, on the car. And he would sit there with that stupid smile he always had. And, uh, he always loved to hear us making memories with it. Long story short, I finished it up and had a car show. And, uh, Jimmy had a detailing skill like no one had ever known. And, uh, needed a lot of work so I brought it to him and he charged me 200 bucks and uh, left it with him came back the next day to pick it up and uh, did an absolute bang up job and uh, Jimmy was always worried about doing everything perfect to the point where he was still detailing it um, when I drove up and uh, he told me hey did I do a good enough job? And he, along with everyone else who knew me, I said, Jimmy, if it wasn't perfect, I wouldn't have told you so. And we chuckled. And he said, yeah, I know you would have. Well, we went to go leave. And uh, my son was all smiles because, you know, he was so happy this thing was clean. And Jimmy had taken a video. As we left and I got home and I called Jimmy and I said, Hey man, like I'm pretty sure I owe you more than 200 bucks because of the job you did. And Jimmy being Jimmy, Jimmy said, I love hearing stories of you and your son making memories. And, uh, I can't wait to make those same memories with my son. And seeing the smile on your son's face, I'm pretty sure I'm the one who owes you 200 bucks. It's pretty cool, dude. And that's how, that's who Jimmy was. And this was days before? This was a weekend before. Wow. Um, I know it's often said that, uh, you know, oh, he was the best guy you'd ever know. And I didn't realize how often that was said because they didn't know Jimmy. Because Jimmy was the best person, the most kind-hearted, most genuine soul you would ever meet. And faithfully, he was uh, taken to us, uh, taken from us on May 11th. And I'll never forget you, buddy. All right, buddy. Good stuff right there. That's heartfelt. So, to all the men, men and women serving this beautiful country, whether it's air, land, or sea, we salute you. To all the first responders, two-legged and four-legged, uh, thank you for your service. Uh, you school, out. Two-legged, 33. Two hundred twenty-three to dispatch. Can you raise two Baker fifty-six, Officer Jimmy? In.
dispatch all units clear the air and stand by for priority traffic. Two Baker fifty six. Dispatch to two Baker fifty six, officer in. This is the final call for two Baker fifty six, officer Jimmy in, badge number twenty eight hundred. End of watch, May eleventh, two thousand twenty one. Thank you for your service, officer in. You can rest in peace. We have it from here. Dispatch clear.